three, two, one. Welcome to the Rivety Official Podcast, a place where we do random stuff when we don't know what to do. All right, so today we are joined with Bailey Stoffer, a.k.a. what is your YouTube channel for us? Please tell us. Bailey Stoffer. And today I am joined with Bailey Stoffer, a.k.a. Bailey Stoffer, or Bailey the Cool Kid, 4532, it's your girl. You should probably change that. That's a really annoying name. <laughs> uh, who has over 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, which might seem uh, like a small number these days, but trust me when I say we don't know what we're doing. So, uh, starting off, Bailey, what has your experience been with YouTube? Hmm? What do you mean? Uh, I mean, I mean exactly what I said. What is your experience <laughs> with YouTube? How's that been? How is YouTube? Please tell us. Give me my phone. Back. I just want to look at it. <laughs> I just want to look at it. Uh, I really like YouTube because it's somewhere like where you can like where you show can, yeah. other people uh, what you can do. That's fascinating, actually. I'm actually really inspired by that. Tell us something inspiring. I feel. Like a changed person from that experience. Thank you. So. Bailey, stop. <laughs> what? Whatever goes on the couch. <laughs> Stays on the couch. Okay. It's on the couch. Bro! Stop! <laughs> stop! Stop! We are back. Anyway, uh, what type of content do you make on YouTube? I make some random things on YouTube. I really don't care what I post. Hmm. Hmm. Good, because it sure shows. Anyway, uh, we've seen a couple videos of your dog on YouTube. What is his name? Come on, we want to know. We want to know. I already say my dog's name in all my videos, but his name is Wally Sunny Stoffer. The middle name is still being decided. It's been three years. It's sunny. It's not sunny. He likes anyway, the way in no. The sun. Uh, I don't even know what questions I'm asking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you could sum up a day in your life, what would it be? What? What would the sum up of your day in your life be? The equal to? Yes. What is the product of the day of your life? Sum. Let's go. Just give me a summary so, of your 24 life. 24 plus okay. some. Okay, what is your life like? What is a day in your life like? Well, well, on school days, I normally play after school. And then on weekends, I might have a sleepover, but normally I just hang out with my family. Mm. That's baloney. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say academics is a priority for you? What is academics? Uh, um, so clearly not. <laughs> How is your ac? Okay, what? How is- <laughs> I'm having to cut all this stuff out because you're so because <laughs> you're so annoying. <laughs> How much do you prioritize your academics and or schoolwork type stuff? I take it very seriously. All right, so with a grain of salt. <laughs> uh, all righty. What? You, just, just a little secret between the two. What, what's your grades looking like? Hmm? All looking A's like? and uh, one B. Ah. Uh, L. Anyway. <sighs> How's your family doing? Good. I know. I'm looking great, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, please don't take a picture. Oh my- <laughs> yeah. Do you what do you do in your free times when you're at home? Do you play video games, read books? Do you play video games, read books? What do you do? I play sit formally so the camera can see you. I s- <laughs> I sit on so that the my basement. cinematic light can reach you. I sit your on my lovely. basement couch and play video games. Yeah, what kind of video games do you play? Minecraft. 
You play Minecraft. Mm. Yes. I personally play Call of Duty. I know you play that with me every once in a while, um, but you're trash, so take a big stinking L with that, but... Oh, and yeah. I didn't you mind playing a game of tic-tac-toe. Oh, yeah, let's go. Let's go, pal. Okay. Back I'll, I'll take the X's. Back up. I'll take... Oh! Ooh. Oh my god! Okay. Okay. Do this. You dropped something on the floor too. Pick that up. No, I didn't. But I'm pretty sure that thing was on a stand. <laughs> Why are you lying? <laughs> that thing was on a stand. Then we was it? Yes, it was. How would others describe you? Funny. Hmm. And she. <laughs> Llama. Draft. You know, that's exactly the words that I think about every time I look at your face. <laughs> every time I look at you in any of your videos, all I, I'm just tempted to comment to Llama <coughs> or Giraffe. Fat L, loser. I don't know what else to say. Okay. I'm, I'm speechless. Okay. All right, so we're going to do a little challenge with us today, all right? So, we are going to draw with our less dominant hand, okay, okay? Do you know what that means? Left hand. Uh, apparently, okay. So, I'm... Why does this got, like, the ABCs? Bro, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> give it, give it, give it. So, first, your question, my question for you is, what was your favorite vacation? So you can talk about it while you draw. My favorite vacation. Less dominant hand. This is my less dominant hand. Oh, it's not. You're singing liar. I know my left from my right. No, you don't. Less dominant hand. Come on. What's your What was your favorite vacation? Talk about it. My favorite vacation Come was on, the on. one that we took on Arizona. Mm. Going to Phoenix. Yeah. What was the temperature like whenever you were out there? Like 100. Mm. Like 100, guys. That's what you'll be hearing on the forecast for today in Arizona. Like 100. I believe uh, when we went there, we started off in Las Vegas. So we got there at nighttime. You were very tired, but uh, do you remember what place we stayed at for those first two nights in Las Vegas? No. Oh. Paris Hotel. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have no idea what you paid for for me. <laughs> uh, yes, we stayed in the Paris Hotel because you like the Paris stuff. Uh, it The Eiffel Towers was actually pretty cool. It like lit up in the colors of France. Uh, red, white, and blue. Blue, white, and red, or whatever. I don't know. Uh, and, uh, yeah. The fountains at, like... The Bellagio, I think. I don't know. They weren't working during that time. So we never got to see those. But uh, it was a lot of water. We walked around for so long. Every day. Was seven hours every day. It, more than seven hours. Like We walked the entire strip of Las Vegas. Saw the Luxor and the... New York, New York, and all this stuff, and circus, and all this stuff, oh my gosh, gosh, it was crazy, and, um, we didn't stop walking all day, and we're, we're cheap, and we don't like to, like, buy stuff, so we ate at, like, McDonald's, <laughs> so, majority of the food we ate was McDonald's, remember that? 
Because whenever we went to go uh, at the observatory when we were in, like, uh, Arizona and not Nevada, it was, like, super dark out. And they had, like, this event where people brought their own telescopes that were fancy and stuff. And uh, anyway, after we left that place, we ate at McDonald's. So, gosh, that's so much so much. Anyway, uh, Arizona is really one of our best vacations so far. After we were in, uh, after we were in Nevada for Arizona, I mean, what? After we were in Nevada, we moved, uh, to a different place where we were staying. I believe we... Do you remember what order we did this in? Did we stay with the family? Family drawing. Did we stay with the family friend first, or did we uh, stay in those little tiny places? Do you remember? No, we did the friend last. Okay, so. No, we did the camper last. Oh, yeah. Uh, where'd my pencil go? You took it. Uh, yeah. So, and then we moved over into... Like, these tiny little houses. I don't really know. They had a pool that we played in one day. But we went to... Uh, darn it, I usually remember this all the time, and now I forgot. It's like Bell Rock, and we went to all these different places. And uh, went hiking for hours, and it got really super duper crazy hot. But, uh... That, that part was actually really fun. They had a lot of hot air balloons. We rode in a UTV, which is the most expensive thing we've done. Can I have the pencil? Please be nice. Ugh. We rode in a UTV. And, like... We rode in a UTV, and uh, that was actually pretty fun. Uh, I've never been in, like... A vehicle like that so it was pretty interesting until it broke in the middle of the desert um and then we had to call people it wasn't our fault fault though it was yeah I don't even know it wasn't our fault because we're not rough on things we got the refund no we didn't uh, and uh, after we did that I believe we headed towards our family friend's house. Uh, they moved, so they don't live there anymore. But uh, they had a pretty nice house, and we stayed there. We went to uh, a restaurant. It was pretty cool. It was like a uh, Mexican food restaurant. And, um... Yeah, it, was, it looked really cool. It had, like, trees and stuff inside, and then it had a pond in the middle of it with, like, fish. It was, like, a pretty cool-looking restaurant. So, um, so, yeah, that was actually pretty interesting. Um, what else did we do? We, whenever we went over to stay where the camper was, uh... That was really cool, actually. We got to stay in, like, a private property that someone owned. It was, like, a, I don't know, an Airbnb. I don't even know. It was just a, uh, yeah. It was just, like, a, a mobile home in the middle of, like, this, like, valley. And there was high mountains. And it was really cool. I've never been there. But it was one of the coolest vacations ever. Uh, we were very lucky to be able to do stuff like that, because I don't think a lot of people have done all that in one vacation. So, yeah, they had, like, a bunch of little prairie dog things in the, uh, on the property. I think they had, like, goats, maybe. I don't know. Across the thing. Mm. And, uh, we stayed one night there, I think. D no, we stayed two nights there. Yeah, we stayed two nights there. I don't know what we did on the one day, but, yeah, I don't know what we did. What did we do? We were oh, hiking. We, we, we drove uh, to this area that had recently been in, like, a 
a fire. Area 51. No. It was, a. Uh, it had a bunch of birch trees, and it was, like, kind of in the mountain area. It got really cold in this area of Arizona, so we, we moved to all different areas of it with different climates and temperatures, and, uh, yeah, but there was a fire there before, and, uh, we just kind of walked around there. It looked really, really pretty, though. Uh, even though the drive to get there was, like, super crazy steep, and, like, we were like, are we supposed to be here? Because there's, like, no one else. But, it was actually pretty cool. And then the second day, uh, we woke up, got all of the things out of our car, out of, out, out of the camper, which was really nice, and then we put it in our car, and we started driving home to the airport, and... Uh, on the way to the airport, we stopped at, where did we go? It was Route 66, um, which was pretty cool. Uh, on the, on the way back from Route 66, whenever, we drove all the way from the main town of Route 66, all the way to Las Vegas again, to go to the airport, and then we were on the plane all the way back, um, and the sunset was really pretty. Oh my gosh, I forgot the main thing in our stupid vacation. We went to the Grand Canyon ah. while we stayed at that place. We went to the Grand Canyon. Just a, just a little minor detail. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, we went to the Grand Canyon. Uh... But yeah, we went back to the airport, gave our car back, which was a Toyota Camry, and, um, yeah, we headed home, and whenever we got home, we immediately swapped cars with my grandma, because we needed to drive another hour to go to a summer camp that we were supposed to go to, and that was crazy. Uh, it was really fun until that one day where that huge storm came and everyone's tents blew over and basically the entire camp was destroyed. That was the craziest storm ever. Like, it was so scary. Um, but yeah, that's basically our last summer where we went to Arizona and then left Arizona and all this crazy stuff. Grand Canyon, Las Vegas. Stayed in a camper. Saw higher balloons. Drove in a UTV. Which broke down. Which is wonderful. Um, yeah. Would you say that pretty much sums that all up? Hmm? Mm-hmm. Alrighty. So, the drawing portion is done with. Someone gave me a rock in fifth grade. Yeah. Uh, they were actually, whenever you were in Cub Scouts, I think, uh, they were in Boy Scouts, and... The troops would, like, sometimes, like, join together in activities, and they were on a camping trip, and, uh, this kid had, I, like, seen them in the Boy Scouts, but I didn't really ever talk to them, because, like, we weren't best friends in elementary school. Uh, they were also, they were always, like, super nice to me, though. Like, looking back, some of my best memories are, like, oh, one time this one kid said that my, my drawing was really awesome, and I should put it in the blah, 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 blah. You know, like all this different stuff, and I realized, oh my gosh, that's the same person. So, yeah, but basically, I didn't really ever talk to this person. And one day, they were collecting rocks because they were going to paint them. But he brought one back, and he was like, You like rocks and minerals and like fossils and stuff, right? And the answer is yes. I've, I've, like, that was my identity for the rest of my life. And, uh, <laughs> what? Hmm. Hmm? I didn't say anything. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, they gave me, like, this, it was, like, this big of fossilized rock. It had a bunch of, like, stuff all over it. And I still have it. It's in our front yard. And, uh, awesome. yes. <laughs> that rock is in our front yard. And when we move, I'm taking that rock. And I'm keeping that rock. And I'm keeping it forever. And I'm gonna write down who did that, too, because... Yeah, I always want to have that rock, because... Put they their like, name on it. I sound stupid, but the reason why I think that's the nicest thing is because someone 
went out and thought about me when they were not even like doing anything like they just saw a fossil and they decided that one girl likes fossils and I'm a nice person they are a nice person so they decided yeah so I think that's, yeah. that's the nicest uh -huh. thing so I, I remember we also we also ah we always used to have like indoor recess every single time it rained and uh what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, uh, there was like a big table, and we would like play Uno or like board games, and like do all this stuff. And I would make paper hats in the back of the class, cause I just that's just what I like to do. I did a lot of weird stuff. I don't know. I don't know why I did these things. Um, <laughs> but uh, and I also like to like draw stuff. So the kid. Also the same person that uh, gave me that rock in fifth grade, and this was fourth grade, they were like, hey, let's have a comic book making contest. And I took this very seriously. Um, my friend, though, did not. She, what? You were making that comic book, like, every day. Yeah, I took it seriously. I invited my friend over to work on it with me. But all she did was say, oh my gosh, you have Minecraft? And then she played it the entire time while I did the uh, comic book. And I called this comic book The Asparagus Spies. Don't ask why, I just like the way that like those cool spy-looking jackets look, so I wanted to draw someone in one. And basically what The Asparagus Spies plot was, was it was basically uh, these spies, ultimately, that spoke in a vegetable language so like they had code words be quiet <laughs> they had code words that were vegetables did you lose no the other people did like stick figures and <coughs> didn't even color it but really? um yeah it, it was it's okay you know i didn't i didn't have enough paper or enough patience that is to finish on a good like making sense note so basically it just kind of ended with i think they said tomato him and then they beat up the bad guy and then they said good work or you're fired i don't know which one they said um i guess there's a big difference between the two but they said one of them either good work or you're fired so I have no idea, but basically one of my dreams was, um, which one should I tell? Which one, which one? Pineapple wall. I never had a dream like that. Hmm. What about that pool? Oh my gosh! You're the only one that remembers that. I don't even remember that, but now I do. Oh, that dream. <laughs> I had this dream where we were staying in a hotel, and... Basically, my whole entire family was there, and it was nighttime. It was a really nice-looking hotel, like, really nice. And there was a pool outside, and it looked like a pretty nice pool, too. So, basically, um, what happened? Basically, it was kind of like a collection of all of my Girl Scout Teen members, I don't really know, like, Girl Scout kids, I don't, <laughs> they were just all my troop members, and, uh, we were all playing in the pool, and they were trying to drown each other, uh, wait, let me revise that for YouTube, uh, they were trying to dunk each other underwater and keep them down there so that they could explore. <laughs> so they, we could explore. <laughs> Keeping <laughs> us down there to explore. Uh, and Snake wraps on a round leg. <sighs> Come on, let's go exploring! <laughs> let's go exploring! <clears throat> and, uh, basically, they were going down there, and they came back up. Don't worry, they did come back up. And <laughs> they were like, that. dude, 
I found a fork down here with some macaroni. So everyone was trying to go down there to find forks and mac and cheese at the bottom of the pool. It was kind of disgusting of a thought. And they pushed me down there. And I found a skeleton and a pile of forks and bones. And they were like... I don't know, it just looked very creepy down, like, it looked like I was at the bottom of the ocean, like, it looked like I was so deep in the pool, like, I couldn't see anything but just, like, that pile of bones and forks and stuff on the bottom of the pool. This is a dream, by the way, if you skipped to this part of the video, <laughs> and all you hear is this, if all you hear is there's a pile of bones, because you skipped here to this part of the video, but, uh, yeah, and... I tried to swim back up, but someone was pushing me down, and then I got stuck in, like, a net, like a, like a pretty little mermaid I am, and part of your world, uh, and we came back down, why am I talking about, no, we didn't, I'm just saying words now, this is what my essay sounds like, it's just a bunch of How'd water. you get out of the net? I don't know, I swam back up. And I'm, and I, you're in the net. I this. Uh, my foot was stuck in a net. And I, I got unstuck after almost drowning. You know, exploring, I mean. And uh, I was like, everybody get out of the pool. Like, there was something down there. So everybody kept on trying to, like, jump off the diving board to go see what I saw. But they started going missing. And, like, it was crazy. And I ran out of the pool. And there was a fork on the side of the pool. And I was like, oh my god. And then I woke up. <laughs> so, that's why you don't put forks in the pool. Or, you know, piles of bones. But, like, forks, though, dude. Mm. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie? Top Gun. Why? That's your favorite movie? Yeah. I mean, it's a good movie. But, like, you of all people like that? I like the Maverick one. Well, that's the only one you've seen, but yeah. I like I like the music on it. I also like the music of Oblivion, Interstellar, Inception. I'm just talking now. You don't need to worry about it. And uh, lots of other stuff like that. Anything made by Hans Zimmer is pretty good. There's some other stuff. Uh, Garrison, Mandalorian. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All that stuff like that. Um, I listen to, like, the Interstellar soundtrack all the time. Mm. Yeah. That's the only type of music I listen to. I don't listen to any music with words, because, like, it has more of a likely chance to be inappropriate or, like, bad. I just don't, I don't care about it, you know? It's just bad. I don't know. I just, I can appreciate the other music more. Uh, I'm an orchestra, so I'm, like, biased, but I like music like that. I mean, I'm, I'm not biased, because people in my orchestra don't like orchestra music, but they're losers, so we don't need to worry about them. No, I suggest orchestra. I'm still taking your flute, right? It's not a flute, it's a <laughs> Um, Yeah, I suggest orchestra, just because the band is way too packed, and it's like, more expensive, because you'll probably pick something more expensive. Um, orchestra... Is smaller performances. So I'm just trying to convince you. I know you don't care, but I suggest orchestra. Because it's just something that I think you should do. You should you should at least try your first year. Because the just normal music option is horrible at my school. My old one. I don't like, like, I don't like being on stage. It's, what? What? <laughs> I don't like being on stage. Okay. Whatever. Um, a whole rest is like an upside down hat. So you can fit more stuff inside of a hole. Like, oh, come on. You can fit more stuff in an upside down hat. So like more of a rest than you can with an upside down one. Because, wait, what? No, when you put the hat on, you can fit less inside the hat. But then whenever you have more, you can pile stuff in the hat. Whatever, it sounded pretty cool back then. 
And uh, I still I still think about it. I don't use it because I know what a um, half rest is. But yeah. All right, guys. Okay. Well, that was that. That was that podcast video, which was really bad. So. He's back. No. That was that podcast video, which was really bad. So uh, thank you, Bailey Stoffer, for being such a very active member in this video. We're so glad with all the very various stories that you told. We'll be so sure to link your channel. Anyway, goodbye. Three, two, one.